Hey guys, General McBadass here, and today I wanted to talk about uh, leveling up fast in Payday 2. Uh, I'm sure there are lots of videos it, are about it already on YouTube, and uh, some of them are a little dated, but this is my take on it, and it might be a little bit different from other people. I've had some people ask me about it, so here it is, I'm doing it. Anyway, as most of you already may know, Rats and Firestarter are the heists that give the most EXP, so doing Rats Pro Overkill or Firestarter Pro Overkill is usually the way to go. And uh, I'll talk about how to deal with bad boosts a little bit later, or how I deal with it, but for now let's talk about how to get the most out of your Rats and Firestarter. As you also may know, there is stealth bonuses that you can get from completing heists in stealth. Uh, take for example Jewelry Store, if you stealth that you get a 10% bonus, Framing Frame you get a 50%, Election Day you get a 40% bonus, um, Firestarter Day 2 and Day 3 if you stealth those two you'll get a 40% bonus. And these can really help you when you're trying to level up faster because a 40% boost to uh, say a 400k experience run on a heist is very helpful. And it could like get you to uh, you know much higher EXP in a much quicker time, and it lessens the pain of uh, leveling up. So why are we here? Diamond Store is a 30% stealth bonus should you complete a stealth. But the reason why I believe that Diamond Store is also one of the best heists to do for uh, leveling up is because unlike things like Election Day, Big Bank, Framing Frame. Those take a long time to stealth, and it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of stealth skills. But Diamond Store, the only thing you need are two ECMs. Uh, it's pretty easy to get. I mean, if you have another friend with you, and you, if both of you have even one point into Ghost, you have an ECM. That's 40 seconds between the two of you that you have to uh, execute this plan. So this is how I like to do it. Let me show you what I do real quick. And let's get right into it. All right, so you may have noticed that I actually have a negative 100% boost to this. And well, that's because I've been helping my friends level up and I do a lot of diamond store on normal. Now the reason why you do diamond store on normal is not for the EXP or the money, but rather the stealth boost. So you shouldn't have to worry about those. Don't worry about the negative boost. The only thing you're here for is that stealth bonus. A 30% stealth bonus, which is pretty hefty. So the only things you need for this are low visibility gear and an ECM. Actually two ECMs. If you have a friend, that makes it much easier. And just having two people also uh, halves the time of moving bags and such. And you don't need any assets, don't need anything else just two ECMs. So let's actually show you what I mean. There are two things you look out for. The key card manager, or the bank manager who carries a key card, who is actually coming down the stairs right now, and the key card reader, which can spawn right here at the base of the stairs. I have no idea who Turtle is. Um, okay. But yeah, there are three spawns. There are three preferable spawns of the keycard reader. And as long as they are not inside the security room, then you're golden. So that is what I'm talking about. It can also spawn here. And it can also spawn right here. Oh, it's a guard. Be cool. So the only time that it's a bad keycard reader spawn is right inside here. Oh, okay, goodbye, turtle. Anyway, those are the two things you look out for. The bank manager, who holds the keycard, and the keycard reader. And as long as, it, as, bleh, as long as it's in this area, then you're golden. So this is what I'll do. You know, I'll find a safe place to mask up. Oh, yeah. Drop an ECM. Instantly bum rush for the bank manager, who is, uh, I seem to have lost her. I'm actually not sure where she is. Huh. Oh. There she is. Kill her, take the key card. Whoops. And, uh, disable the glass alarm. And that allows you to 
break the glass so you can start bagging loot. Now the reason why you have two ECMs is because usually it takes about 10-ish seconds for you to kill the manager, take the keycard, and then turn off the alarm. That's why you need that second ECM with uh, 20 seconds of stealth to actually move the bags. So I, I this was a rough, you know, a rough draft of what you should do. And uh, in case things go wrong, like it just did there, or in case the keycard reader is inside the security room, you'll want to restart. Either nade yourself, or if you have something like Hawk's HUD, you can easily restart the game. Like so. Alright, so now that I've told you what to do, let's show you the execution of it. I'm gonna bring in a friend with mine. A fr yeah, I'm gonna bring in. I'm going to bring in a friend of mine, and uh, I'm gonna show you what we do almost every other heist. So let's get right down to that. All right, so here we are. As you can see, no fancy ECMs, just low visibility. That's all you need. Let's go right into it. All right. My friend just acquired Hawkshud, but if you don't have Hawkshud, you don't. You know, you don't really need it. You know what to do. All you have to do is be able to time the ECMs. As you can see right now, you know, there's a timer on the top. And whenever you drop your first ECM, that's 20 seconds you have before the, uh, the ECM expires and you need to drop another one down. So, as long as you can count, you don't need Hawksud. Although Hawksud definitely makes things easier. So here's the keycard reader, found that. Now we gotta go find the manager. Oh, she's right there. Gotta go find a safe spot to mask up. Drop an ECM. Make sure you drop an ECM before you kill her. Ignore the guard. Grab the key card. Put it in. And then now let your teammate know that they can destroy the glass. Now as you see, I had about 9 seconds left. So, that's normally the time you have. Let my teammate know to drop an ECM. He forgot. Oh, he got it. And all we have to do is get four bags, which we have, and now we'll leave. Alright. Sit in the van. And there you have your 30% stealth bonus. As you can see, it might take a little practice for you to get the hang of it, but that's the basic gist of it. Drop your ECM, kill the manager, take the key card, put it into the key card reader, disable the glass alarm so that you don't get caught when you break the glass, then move bags out. Just four, that's all you need. It can be do- yeah, it can be- it is doable with two people, it's much easier with four or three, and that's all there is to it. Now we'll proceed with our rats, fire starter, whatever we want to do. Normally what I do is we'll do this. Then we'll do a fire starter, and if you have someone that's able to stealth day two and day three, you'll stealth those, get a 40% EXP stealth bonus from fire starter. Then you'll go into rats, do that. Then you'll go back into diamond store and get another 30% bonus. Do your fire starter again, stealth the day two and day three, get that bonus and rinse and repeat. Now the thing is, this method will get you a lot of bad boost really fast. So, when that happens, just start doing a bunch of quick heists, you know. Vlad missions, uh, jewelry store, you know, stuff like that. And uh, eventually you'll get rid of your bad boost. You can also do things like watchdogs, framing frame. They give decent EXP, but not near, they don't nearly compare to Rats or Firestarter. And that's basically what I'll do. Right now, I'm just going to end up buying uh, Rats. And whoop, keep missing it. Rats pro job overkill. As you can say, I have a horrible boost on it, but you know, I do this for my friends. I'm already level five or infamy five, level one hundred, so I don't actually need the exp myself. And that's what I do.